can't use a shotgun versus the sniper rifle. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Blast Brawl 2. It's been a crazy couple days, you could say that again, here's hoping we get a bit of a break. I doubt the world's gonna need saving again anytime soon. This is the warrior and the brawler, making a pretty good team, hell yeah they do. I've unlocked all the classes for this, so I just wanted to uh, kind of give it a little rundown. But I haven't watched the little cinematic. What? I can't move! Oh my god, sucked into time portal! Goodbye, nice car. I think it's a nice car. It's a convertible, that makes it a nice car, right? Throughout time and space, great heroes sometimes vanish. Not dying, they're instead taken to another world. A dimension of violence and death, where they're trapped in eternal battle. Fuck yeah! Blast Brawl 2 Bloody Boogaloo! And there's all the uh, characters, all available to play. I did do an episode early on for the demo, so I'm really excited to have this whole thing unlocked and available. And uh, here's all of the characters. Warrior, Brawler, Sniper, Ninja, Vanguard, Pirate, and Viking. There is space for a few more classes, and then you can also uh, equip things eventually. This game is in early access technically, so hopefully this will become different different stuff. You could change outfits and gear, but right now it's really nothing, and uh, I'm just kind of practicing. One of the nice things is the radio, so you can uh, choose any track that you like and find your perfect killing music. Really, it's all pretty good. Uh, a lot of synth pop and things like that, but no complaints here. Here we go. Yeah. They do have a versus mode. Versus mode features uh, some different maps, but right now I'm all by myself, so I'm going to go ahead into the wave mode. And uh, we start with the warrior in the game, warrior and brawler, so I'll go with the warrior first. She does wield her magic greatsword with brutal abandon. Oh yes, she can charge it up, shoot a lightning bolt, boom! Little uh, flourish parry thing, and then a dashing dodge, which is pretty cool. There is a little bit of a cooldown on the skills, which isn't um, signified anywhere, so it's kind of unfortunate. Neon City, the courtyard, is the easiest level to sit down and earn coins. You can see in the upper right I have 20,000 coins. Um, and each character costs like 2,500. So darkness below, you have to manipulate those little light things to uh, keep the enemies in view, which I think is pretty cool. Test Chamber has a lot of robots and shit. Uh, they fly around. It's really, really hard. Although this is the uh, map that was offered in the demo that I played through. Wasteland is the final solo map, and this features uh, a lot of rival enemy classes, so obviously it's super, super hard because you will meet the ninja, the vanguard, or at least something kind of similar to them. We'll start on the courtyard just because there's a lot of zombies, and it's uh, rather doable. So with this greatsword, it's really nice because you do get some backswing to it, so if enemies are approaching from the back, that's not a problem, and it's also uh, got some pretty good range to it. There's my lightning bolt. Boosh! Yeah, I really love the warrior. One of my favorite classes. Oh, almost died. One hit deaths in this game, if you weren't privy to that, so you have to be uh, very careful and make sure you're making the right moves. Those explody guys will kill you if you're too close to them. Oh my god, I got double teamed. But there we go. Couple of swings on the greatsword just to keep me alive. Unfortunately, the warrior doesn't have a double jump or anything like that, but uh, it's relatively fine. If you use your dash move wisely, you should be able to uh, to do everything you need to do, which is mostly just kill the dudes, kill all the dudes. Oh, missed my lightning strike. Ugh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your name is, and obviously I am getting a uh, extra life every round, which I find rather nice. We'll kill some zombies. Huh! Huh! And get out of here. Yeah! It is just as fun as it was in the demo. I was super excited to see this game come to a full release. Oh my god! I got got. I was a little distracted. Boosh! But we'll clean it up with the uh, the lightning spell. And, huh. fuck yeah. 
The warrior can also uh, use her sword to leap upwards, which I find pretty good for uh, the flying enemies that should appear just a little later. And then you can string your dash attack. This nasty fellow. All right. This is what you get. Lightning! Oh, and there's the ninja. Appeared out of nowhere. Handed me my butt. And he blocked my lightning attack. This is a player class, so it's obviously uh, a little difficult to fight him. Oh! Got him! I was able to swing that back around just in time. The warrior does have a wall jump, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, but these guys are uh, not being nice to me. Kill them! Kill them all! Obviously, you do want to pick up the coins if you're trying to unlock characters. Right now, I don't care so much because I do have them all unlocked. But it might come in handy for unlocking new armor or items or some such. Now we got a shit ton of zombies. And they got me. I tried to uh, turn around with my swing and I turned it the wrong way. There we go. Obviously able to kill more than one enemy with the swing, which doesn't happen for every character. So it's kind of nice. Here are the flying guys. And they got me. I popped one, but they popped me even better. Alright. I gotta hit this guy with lightning. There we go. The lightning spell does recharge pretty fast. The cooldown is uh, pretty negligible, but if you're trying to spam it, you will notice that there is indeed a cooldown. And that is it for the warrior class. Dango! Earned a pretty good amount of money that turn, which uh, I think is pretty nice. But we will try another character, the brawler, rugged fighter, who pulverizes enemies with unarmed combat or blasts them apart with his trusty shotgun, which is pretty cool. The shotgun also uh, is not able to be spammed, but you can use it for uh, a little extra leap, which is pretty nice. And uh, I'll stick with the courtyard. That's just fine. I will probably uh, switch it up for the next character if we get that far. Depends how long it takes to, to get the fighter done, I suppose. And obviously you don't have to punch those guys. I don't think you get more more money for uh, punching them before they explode. Oh my god. But it is just fun. It's a good old time. Now the brawler does have a double jump, which comes in extremely handy. And then uh, you could also use the shotgun for just a little more air. So he's an extremely, extremely mobile character, which I like a whole hell of a lot. And uh, the interesting thing about this game is all of your attacks are bound to shoulder buttons. So uh, you need to be proficient with your triggers and buttons. Fighter can punch super fast and it is also good for the mobility. Although you can only get a couple of free leaps once you start uh, punching. However, once you're on the ground, go ahead, punch to your heart's content. And uh, it's a relatively safe way to get around the stage making him one of the easier characters to play. I mostly used him to unlock most of the other characters that I have, and that took me probably an hour and a half. Not so bad. Damn. But I do like him a lot. He's an extremely versatile character, and uh, we could even take out that guy. Boosh! And just a lot of fun to play. They do all have a defensive move. The warrior had like that... Uh, that brandish or whatever, parry. This guy has a, a rolling dodge, and then he also has a flip kick, which can be used to knock enemies away just like that. Boosh! Oh my god. It's just so good. And I'll finish that guy. Boom! Motherfucker! Oh, now we got the Viking. And he got me. The Viking is uh, relatively easy to deal with. I say as I get pummeled, <laughs> just because uh, his axe doesn't have uh, the range that the shotgun does, and it also doesn't really work if you uh, get close to him. 
There's a really strange range to the Viking, which uh, I'm sure I'll cover more once we get to him. Reefer! Killed three zombies just then. Pretty nice. Here's the Vanguard. And he just pummeled me with the shield. This is a relatively hard character to deal with. Probably one of the more difficult ones that I've seen. I did get him, but uh, it cost me my life. Which is fine. I deal with it. Get that shotgun. Pooh! I don't like these uh, big guys because they do have quite some range on their claw attacks. But if you're uh, staying away, kiting them well, then you should be relatively safe. Some of the enemy characters are able to launch bombs and things like that. Most of the characters on the courtyard are not, which I think uh, is what makes it one of the easier stages to play on. I do like that all the stages have uh, different enemies, different loadout of enemies. Oh, yes. Dude, three times combo. What, what? I don't think there is a combo system in this game, but there should be. Now I got to deal with two of these, and I fail. Damn. Fail hard. You can uh, get your achievement and your little star next to the characters by beating past wave 10, which is uh, not so hard to do, at least for some characters. Ones that uh, fit my playstyle better, I guess. Characters like the pirate and the viking, I think, are the only two that I don't have uh, an expert star on, I guess is what I'll call it. They are a little harder to play. But the viking, for the reasons that I mentioned before, and then uh, the pirate is just a little floaty, and there is a cooldown to uh, his sword swing, which is troubling. Obviously, I was able to punch down through the air there and just pummel some enemies into the ground, which was really nice. And then I uh, parried that creature's claw attack. Boosh! I really love the shotgun. And there's the sniper. She got me real good. That's all right. We're going to deal with her. Post haste. Damn. All right. Shotgun's not going to work. Can't use a shotgun versus the sniper rifle, so we will just pummel her into the ground like that. Relatively easy to chase her down, as you saw there. She does have mines, however, that can be put down, and uh, you need to watch out for those. I don't know if the AI does it necessarily, but it is uh, quite a quite a dooming thing if you're able to use it. There's the pirate chucking around some bottles of rum, which uh, just mixes up the controls a little bit. And that is a hard thing to deal with as well. Oh my god. And that is it for the brawler. dang -o. Earned a good amount of money. 2,000 money earned. Um, and I did get to wave 12, which is damn fine if I do say so myself. We'll check out another uh, level in the next episode, and we will be the ninja. I hope you'll join me for it, friends. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a book. It's blank inside, just like my soul. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye bye Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.